not as famous as Alcatraz or Sing Sing, but standing in its shadow, you can feel the power of the old Ohio State Reformatory. The Ohio State Reformatory was in existence between 1896 when it opened and 1990 when it closed. 154,000 men and boys passed through the institution in that amount of time, and it was actually a reformatory, not a prison, in the early years. A reformatory actually incorporated three ideas. The concept was you brought minor offenders into the institution. Originally, they were 16 to 21 year old boys. They were brought in. First of all, they were given a high school education. Second of all, they were taught a trade skill. And then third was religion, and that was the reformatory concept. You were given all of the tools you needed to go out and be successful in society. The building was designed by Cleveland architect Levi Tucker Schofield. It was meant to suggest a cathedral, and it was believed at that time that if you had inmates in a, an uplifting setting, they would be morally uplifted. They would somehow uh, better themselves just by being exposed to that architecture. Um, it actually took 10 years to construct the building, simply because the state had only allocated a certain amount of funding and it kept going over budget. Ultimately, this building cost $1.3 million, which was unheard of in the 1880s. The architecture was designed to uplift impressionable young minds. But the reformatory's mission was changing, and the new inmates were not so easily impressed. During the course of the years, the institution did make a transition into becoming a maximum security prison, and at that time, of course, there were more hardened criminals here. As the prisoners got tougher, so did the punishment. The hole is an area that was installed in the building when this became a maximum security prison. If you did not follow the rules, then you would end up in the hole for a three-day stay. It was kept at 95 degrees and the lights were only turned on if there was an emergency. Hot, dark, hungry, miserable. And nobody wanted to be there. Nobody. Uh, in one case, they had two inmates put into a single cell for solitary confinement and only one came out. The, the other one was murdered by his fellow inmate. He stuffed his body underneath the bunk. In 1990, the prison closed. It was 94 years old. There was talk of tearing it down, but a citizens group came together to save it. The Mansfield Reformatory Preservation Society now operates the facility. It's a building worth preserving, even at 120 years old. The reformatory has a certain star quality. We have had four major motion pictures filmed here over the course of the years. Of course, our big claim to fame, The Shawshank Redemption, was filmed here in 1993. And then in 1997, Air Force One was filmed here. This was the Russian prison in Air Force One. Once teeming with prisoners, the massive building is now eerily silent. All the inmates have come and gone. Or have they? The Ohio State Reformatory is haunted, and I believe there are multiple ghosts. I've been there in the daytime only. I would never go there after dark. The paint is peeling very leprously off the walls. It just, the walls look like they've got scabs on them. Um, I walked as far away from the walls as I could because I didn't want to touch anything. I didn't want to take anything away f with me. I get the feeling that sometimes in, in violent places or places where people have been in despair or anguish, some of their despair or anguish rubs off on the walls or, or even becomes embedded in the walls. And as I walked along, particularly the whole corridor, ghostly hands began coming out between the bars at me and I had to walk a line between those hands and the wall, a very narrow line, because I don't want to be touched by anything in the reformatory. I know at the time it was considered to be a very good prison. It was considered to be a very progressive prison, and, and some of the inmates used to come back on tours and say, thank you for putting me on the straight path. Um, so it wasn't a place of despair for everyone, but there, that seems to be the overwhelming emotion for me that I'm picking up is this, this anger and despair and violence. The Ohio State Reformatory for me is one of the scariest places I've ever visited. I really don't want to go back. 
I'm never afraid in this building. I can walk in here at any time and I'm, I'm never uncomfortable at all. It's, it's just such a beautiful building that you're, com you're completely comfortable. Beautiful? Sure, in the daytime. At night, it's just plain creepy. And for some people, that's the attraction. We offer ghost hunts. Ghost hunts are paranormal investigations, which are serious but informal. You actually can come in at 8 p.m. at night, bring your own photographic equipment, and spend the night walking through the building documenting the paranormal activity. I have never been to the Ohio State Reformatory uh, after dark. I've never taken part in any of the ghost hunts. Um, I would be very, very uneasy going there at night. The in interior of the prison is so large and the area you'd be roaming through is so great, um, anything could happen. So we complete our tour of the old reformatory by lamplit ghost hunt. Now they do these about 12 times a year and anyone can participate from armchair ghostbuster to true paranormal scientist. And there's definitely some kind of power presence here. Now people vary on what they experience. Some people's batteries die in their cameras, others have strange flashes on their film. Some people feel someone tugging at their hair at their sleeve. One thing's for certain. You never know what you're going to find in the next cell. Doug, I think you need a little more time in solitary. <laughs>